Okay, this is track announcer Darren Gagne here at Running Aces, and I'm here with our leading driver, Nick Rowland, and we're going to take a look at a 360 video of a recent race here at Running Aces. It was on Sunday, August the 28th, race number six. It was a conditioned pacing event for horses and geldings, a field of six. Uh, you had the best of Joel from the rail, Prodigal Post 2, Ideal Art was a 3, Better's Promise the 4, Pillage and Burn with Nick Rowland on the 5, and Rock and Jimmy from the outside with Luke Plano, post position number 6. Nick, uh, quickly let's just uh, tell our fans, what do you do preparing for a race? Obviously you've driven this horse a few times before, so you know the horse. Um, do you try to map out how you think your trip is going to go, what you're going to do behind the gate with the horse? depending upon who you see in the field, that kind of thing? Yep, definitely, especially this horse. He's a, he's a pretty difficult horse to drive, so you kind of have to have your mind made up whether you're going to leave or duck beforehand because there's you get him close to the gate too early and there's no there's no in-between. There's no kind of making a decision uh, so, as far as that goes. Going into this race, your <laughs> thoughts were leaving? Yeah, I thought... You know, Not a lot of speed on the, in the race on paper, right? Right. You look at it aside from the one horse. Right, and and I didn't want to. I I felt like the best of Joel was the one to beat, and uh, I didn't want to duck behind. You know, at least two other horses, Prodigal and Ideal Art, I felt were the weakest two in the race, and I didn't want to. I didn't want to duck and have to follow them. So, I thought we'd try to leave out of there and and work out a trip from there. Okay, let's pick up the race in behind the gate into the back stretch. And approaching the start. And again, this is race six, August 28th at Running Aces. There you go, Nick. You're leaving from post five. And as you said, you got the best of Joel toward the inside of you. And uh, what are you thinking at this point? Obviously, you're going to clear. Yep, yep. I decided already to leave, so I there was no there was no going back from there. After uh, after I cleared, I hit the brakes as hard as I could, which he's like I said, a hard hard horse to handle. Um, once he leaves out of there, then you got to get him get him reeled back in pretty quick. Otherwise, he's he's loose. And you pretty were pretty certain that uh, Tim was going to pull right on right on you with the best of Joel. Yeah, I was I was fairly certain. Um, Tim has driven pillage and burn before, and kind of like I described, uh, he wasn't ready for for him being pretty hard headed. And he left out of there, and I think he got down to the three quarters in like 122, like the first the first month we were here. And then, uh, so Tim kind of knows him, and he knew he knew that he wouldn't last on the front. So he, I figured that he wouldn't want to follow me. Okay, so Tim took over the lead from you. The quarter was 28-1. They just passed the half in 57. You're sitting in the pocket. Here comes Brian Deachin on the outside with Ideal Art. What were your think, uh, thoughts at this point with that challenger for the leader? Uh, at this point, I was, I was half in between. Am I going to run Tim over here? Because Brian's all over his horse. At, or, you know, can I keep him in behind him? So that was that was all I was really worried about. I was I was stuck in from there, and you know it's just. just but it was to... quickly uh, apparent that Ideal Art really wasn't going too far there, correct? Right, right. So. And now you see Prodigal, uh, Dean McGee, three wide on the outside, and the horses are all uh, tightly packed up here as they come for home. One twenty-four and four three quarters, and uh, you're all charging to the wire here. Yeah, and I'm I'm looking to move to the outside because he kind of hangs on the left line anyway. And uh, we were able able to get out and go to the outside. Um, if Dean wasn't out there, I, and I could have let him run out and go forward, I think he would have definitely been second, maybe even one. But well, it was very close. Just missed second. In fact, I think you missed the whole thing by just about a long neck, half a length in the program. But 153 and four, nice mile, and an exciting finish. What a great race! Yeah, yep, it, it really was. It was a well put together race. And your horse race good. Great job. Thank you very much, Nick, and I hope that the fans out there enjoy this uh, video. Yep, thanks, Darren. Thank you.